How's it guys? Um, it's AD here from Regaling Earth Worm Farms. Um, just an update on one of my breeding bins. Um, for the winter, I actually raked up a lot of leaves and things to use as bedding for one of the the breeding bins. And um, it probably wasn't such a good idea since that island is infested with uh, New Zealand flatworms, which are predatory worms and feed mostly on our local earthworms and other worms. Uh, so I went through the breeding bin and uh, I just show you what it looks like. Um, well, that's the breeding bin. I basically just went through it and had a look see what it is what it looks like inside it's very well there's a bit of potworm in that but like i said before i don't mind and i have noticed that i don't have as many worms in here as there should be like there is a couple of small ones but see there's another one there you know they're not but there's not the amount the amount is not there so when I dug around in there, I found that, and that, my friends, is what a New Zealand flatworm looks like. They like compacted soil, apparently, and all that, and it's just, I want you guys to keep a lookout and see if you find any of them. Um, they came into the country in the late 60s, into Ireland, into the late 60s. Um, and they reckon that um, the way they came in was through um, garden nurseries. Nurseries buying in plants from New Zealand. And um, that's how, how they have actually come in. Um, like I showed you guys the other day, I have all my bins up off the ground. Because um, when I just started up here, I only had that one and that bin. And underneath the bin, I had um, a weed matting. The weed matting is still there. I've just folded it up more closely. But I intended to put weed matting all along the bottom layer of the, of the soil, like on top of the soil, just to, um, you know, keep the weeds from growing through. But then um, I actually found that I had to put in a drainage pipe that runs all the way down under the ground here because um, of the uphill, of the slope going that way, the rainwater was actually coming into the tunnel and um, causing a lot of moisture to just sit on top. Um, so I cut the plastic off and folded it back. And when I folded it back, just in this section here, when I folded it back, there was probably, oh God, maybe 20 of those New Zealand flatworms. And um, so that's the main reason why I have them off the ground like that, is so that these things cannot get in to the bins. But I reckon the leaf mulch that I have that I raked up to bed this bin <clears throat> had flatworms in it. And that's how they got into that bin. So I haven't found any in the other bins yet lately. I'll have to just keep checking out every now and then. But it's quite a disappointment because, I mean, there was a lot of adult worms in here. And there is not one adult worm. There's a juvenile. She hasn't even got her saddle yet. That's one, that's one of my tigers. She's barely got her sad saddle, which means it's a juvenile. There's a couple of them in that size. That's a few smaller ones there and there. But um, really young worms. At least there's one. It's also a juvenile. But yeah, like I mean, the casting quality is fantastic, but. I'm just quite disappointed now that this whole bin was devastated by that bloody thing. So, but yeah.
just to keep you guys a heads up as well just be careful where you get your bedding from and bedding that you use like I try to use mostly natural beddings because um, I found that cardboard bedding um, tends to get a bit sticky it tends to make the castings very sticky so I use I use ca um, cardboard but I mix it in with um, wood chip mulch old man old manure and stuff like that so but yeah um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have learned something you know I've definitely have so that flatworm now she's probably gonna get the torch and a lot of fire <laughs> cheers guys have a good day bye bye